Highlight pack number four. This is Healing Hands Tarot. How is everybody doing? Guys, I hope you're all doing wonderful. I am doing fantastic. Um, guys, there's a lot going on in the world today. Um, the economy looks like God help us all, right? Things are hard. Everybody is panicky. Everybody is looking for answers. Um, even when it looks like there's no answer, it looks like it's a hopeless situation. Um, and God help us all. Okay. We all need to understand that we're in this together and we're going to get through this together. Okay. Unified. So guys, um, your life path number, as you know, life path number four is, is a number of stability. And like the four corners of, the, of a square, the four traditional elements, you have four seasons, four wheels of a car. It is practical. It's a functional number. It's associated with practical, functional people. All right. Um, the destiny number four has a highly practical and down to earth approach to life really given to flights of fancy or desire for the unattainable you're determined you're driven for success but you're not driven for success in a way that a life path number one would um for example you like stability and order money is not important to you but financial stability is fame isn't but respect is being the CEO of a company isn't, but doing your job well is to you, all right? Um, in, in mathematics, number four is the positive, first positive non-prime number. That is the first positive number that can be divided by something beside itself, all right? Besides itself and one. So this indicates your ability to work well and constructively with other people you are known as the great artisan you guys can do a lot with your hands you all are talented you're gifted with your hands doing things with your hands and you're an excellent team player you're very good at taking directions and sticking to a plan however you can become very frustrated with people who obviously aren't putting in the same kind of effort as you are you don't take kindly to picking up other people's slack. And while you won't let work go undone, you will seriously, you know, um, bark if someone who flakes on you asks you to do something else for them in the future, all right? So if somebody dumps something on you, you might do it the first time, but you might be the kind of person that next night, there won't be a next time because you are going to be very clear about what you want, very clear about, you know, the boundaries because you're a very um earthy sign you're a very you know structured individual in your mind you know everything has to be a certain way so life path number four guys please remember to give this video a thumb up remember to like share follow you know whatever you need to do continue doing please help me continue to build this channel i do appreciate everybody every one of you life path number four your support has been tremendous. It's been very, very pivotal to the success of this channel. And I am so happy that you all are a part of my soul tribe. So please do exchange your energy with mine so that I can pick it up. So I can, it can come through in this reading so that your, your higher self or um, your spirit guides can show up when I'm doing this reading and bring your messages forth. All right. So like I always say, these messages might not resonate with everybody. But it will resonate with somebody. For example, it's not going to resonate with me because I am not a life path number four. But it will resonate with somebody who is the life path number four. Because what we are picking up here is the collective energy. So it will, you know, it will be resounding for particularly a life path number four. Guys, we're doing something a little different. You know, the reading for this month. We've been asked by the by spirits to look at your past life, soulmate, relationship. Okay. To figure out, I'm guessing there might be some people who are wondering why they have a certain type of relationship in their life. Or why things are going the way they are. Maybe you're trying to understand it. So, because I don't understand why 
Spirit wanted us to do a past life relationship reading instead of the regular picking up of your own energy and telling you what you should look out or watch out for this month. All right. So, guys, the first question that I would ask is what type of, you know, person are you dealing with? So, with this soulmate past life relationship has to do with somebody who is currently in your life at the moment. This person might be somebody who is rubbing you the wrong way, somebody who is, um, you know, difficult for you to relate with and i always say soulmates can be anybody it could be your mother your father your brother your church member your co-worker but you do know even your child all right your uncle brothers sisters anybody all right a soulmate could even be somebody you sat next to on a bus all right somebody you met in a store somebody you exchange some kind of energy with because sometimes it might just be a simple karma of you know they need to just you know, talk to you or do something for you to close out their own cycle. And so, you know, we too have to close our own cycle, no matter how minute or, um, you know, how much unimportant it might seem to us. But there's a lot that we don't know about this world. All right. So in trying to understand what relationship are we talking about? What, who are we doing this reading for? So if this resonates for you, this is your reading. Okay. So the first question is, what is the relationship with this person in this life? What is it that you're currently going through with this person in this lifetime? So we're going to get to that, but let me turn on my candle because Spirit is like, you know, you need some sort of light or something for this particular reading. And guys, I'm going to tell you something. I was going to do the reading for life path number one. I actually had number one right here instead of a four. And I sat down, I was about to do it and I said, okay. Let me go get some water, you know, to drink for when I start this reading. But guys, when I went into my kitchen, I, I saw, they showed me clearly number four. And then I'm like, number four? And then I heard four, four. So I'm like, okay, so we're doing a reading for number four. So guys, I'm thinking there is something that needs to come through. There's some kind of message that needs to come through during this reading. Maybe there's somebody watching that really needs to hear whatever messages um, we will be picking up, okay? So guys, let's dig in. So this person that you're dealing with, what is the relationship with them in this lifetime? This is a relationship based on trust or that is meant to be based on trust okay because this is the zero and this is the full energy and the full is all about new beginnings all right this is somebody that in this lifetime you're meant to have some sort of a new beginning with them all right and also this is this talks about seven of wands which is referring to you coping with a situation it says you defend yourself bravely and successfully cope with all obstacles thanks to your courage so this is a relationship also that has been very challenging for you to get this new beginning with that person, okay? Whoever this person is to you, you will know, okay? But whatever energy we're picking up is for somebody who is supposed or meant to, in this lifetime, be starting afresh with somebody, all right? But instead of starting afresh, you keep finding yourself in different situationship with that person in such a way that it, gets, it keeps getting complicated. Now, let's figure out what the... Um, Obstacles between you and this person are in this life. What are the obstacles for life path number four with regards to this person? What are the challenges? What is it that they have been going through? What is it that has been preventing preventing any forward movement? Okay, guys, this is weird because there is a huge contrast here between these two cards. If you look at it, this is all fiery and action-oriented. If you look at it, this is all plain and bland and um, just cool, all right? So I'm thinking here, from what I'm picking up, um, the obstacle has included ability to move forward, ability to ignite this new beginning that you're meant to have with this person. Um, and, and this... I'm thinking has a lot with looking back, you know, in the past and in looking back at things that have happened because, you know, it's like you, you, you have this wand. Who knows? You might be have been in a battle, okay, with this person or it's been very challenging. But I do see Ace of Cups here and this tells me one of the obstacles is your inability to bring about this new emotional, um, this new beginning, this emotional um, fulfillment or this co this um, current life you've been unable to ignite yeah guys okay 
this is all about action power igni igniting so it's like you've been unable to ignite the passion with this person it's been very challenging it's like every time you try something will knock you down you know so let's find out what your relationship was with this person in the past life what kind of relationship was this about previously that could have caused all this karma and baggage that life part number four may be dealing with in this lifetime guys remember to like this video please share please subscribe to the channel let me know if you want a private reading specific to your situation i can do reading on past life um for you with en regarding anybody your daughter your you, you know if you're having a challenging time with somebody in your life you can do a, a past life reading to find out you know what are the issues what should you do what are the obstacles and you know what lessons are they meant to teach you in this lifetime so we can get that done all right so in in answering the question wow guys look at this we have the fool twice in this reading omg we have the fool okay so and the question is what was the relationship with this person in past life it looks like the relationship you had with this person was a, a, a relationship of innocence a rel relationship of um new beginnings innocence and, and and i'm thinking this wasn't successful in the last life time you had with this person so that's why you all are back here trying to you know close out this cycle so there is a need for a new beginning and that's the energy that we're picking up about a new beginning you know a new emotional offer a new being able to ignite this passion this love this romance so it might be that person you just don't see eye to eye with them or maybe you do but there is inability for you to start something new with this person to reignite something from your previous life to be able to be emotionally given and connected to this person um let's find out what the um unfinished business between you and this person is oh wow okay so guys this is supposed to be the unfinished business you know but somehow it's talking about new beginning so like i said it has to do with new beginnings that you were unable to start to jump start to kick start you have been unable to do that in this lifetime so lessons to learn in this life okay so this is part of lessons to learn in you know lessons to learn in that life was also the lessons you're meant to learn in this life okay so somehow there's a um a connection to your past life with this person where you were not emotionally uh you know fulfilled or there was some kind of emotional fulfillment some kind of new beginnings that you were meant to have that you, you couldn't have in that lifetime and you all are here again repeating the same thing all right repeating the same lessons in this in that life in this lifetime so what are the lessons to learn in this lifetime okay so we have two cards we have the moon and we have the knight of pentacles so there's something about lessons in in this life about you know be, things being shrouded in mysteries okay so there is a something there is a knowing that you do not have the privilege of okay there's something hidden about this relationship there's something not you know clear for you as in when you think about it you don't understand why it's the way it is there is a lot that is you know not known at this time regarding this person um especially with regards to the lessons you are meant to learn but we have already identified one lesson as you being able to begin something new successfully start something with this person okay so it looks like maybe you might be running away or the person might be running away but somebody is not giving in to in order to start to reignite this relationship okay somebody might be running away okay and that's what i'm, I'm hearing somebody is like uh, you know they don't they are running away from this connection but they are meant to be in this connection but you know like because they don't know that's why the moon is coming up and the moon talks about secrecy okay it talks about mysticism it also talks about hidden you know hidden things that things that you're unaware of okay so um and then this one also in terms of lessons to learn in this life is about knight of pentacles and this is knight of pentacles is a an earth you know an earthy energy it's a well-grounded energy it's about being able to 
um, offer something to someone. See, the man has something to offer here, okay? But, you know, Pentacles talk about money or talk about financial um, ability and being able to offer something tangible to somebody, okay? So the tangibility could be in terms of love. Tangibility in, in, in the um, could also be in terms of, you know, being able to offer the person a good, a financially stable um relationship okay a relationship that will be financially stable so there's something somebody that is meant to give of themselves that is not given all right okay guys so let's find out what are the you know attributes or attitudes or fears that you carry from the other life we've already picked one up uh, about you know being unable to you know start something new but let's find out like who what is the attitude? What is the fear? What exactly are you afraid of? Or the person? What are they afraid of? What is this all about? The fear that is holding you back. Because remember, we have subconscious programming, okay? We come into this lifetime without knowing anything. But we do have subconscious programming that, you know, are hidden, hidden. That only when you activate and tap into it, would you begin to uncover and to learn. But sometimes, those memory can seep in and... You know, it would, it, it's like a trigger and it keeps holding you back from moving forward because it's like a rush of memory that will come. Fear based on, you know, past experiences, maybe past hurt or um, in dealing with a specific person or a specific situation. So you might find out that some situation, situations might be repeating themselves in your life and you need to understand why, okay? But in terms of attitude or attributes or fears that you've carried over from that lifetime into this one, we're getting the moon again guys there's something about this relationship that is is not meant to be clear like fully clear all right so it, you're meant to be discovering it as you go along all right whatever the dynamic of this relationship is there are things that you can only discover them for example you have two paths all right you're faced with two decisions you won't find out what's behind door a until you open it right so you're meant to open a door and find the next layer all right and then deal with that situation open the next door and make a choice and find the other layer so this is not something that somebody's gonna tell you oh this is all this is what you came with this is the fears that you know brought you brought with you so you know spirit isn't it's telling you here that it's not clear it's not meant for you to know until you get to that point so I'm, I'm feeling that's why it's difficult to ignite this thing because it's like you don't know and you want to know like what's behind the door but you don't know what's behind the door. So that's also holding you back. That's a fear that you brought with you in this lifetime. So another fear is, you know, past garbage. So this is Six of Cups. And Six of Cups talks about past life. It's a soulmate relationship, you know, soulmate card. It's a card about, you know, having karmic ties to somebody. And, and whoever this person is, when I see Six of Cups, it's telling me you all have a very tight soulmate soulmate relationship. It's somebody that you are meant to be connected with in this lifetime. But there's some... Um, resistance in your relationship okay all right life path number four i hope that made some sense for you so in terms of advice let us pick up some advice for you let's find out what oracle deck okay we just want advice for life path number four what is the advice okay thank you spirits number four your advice is co-creation so both you and whoever this person is, you're meant to co-create something, all right? But you cannot co-create anything if you are not seeing eye to eye with this person, if you're not on the same page as this person, if there's any resistance to being able to start something new, there is no way you're going to co-create, okay? So I think spirit is like nudging you, like, you know, there has to be some kind of co-creation. Maybe somebody needs to open up their heart. Maybe somebody needs to make the efforts. Um, there's a co-creation here, but it looks like whoever this soulmate is, it's a very strong soulmate with a very strong karmic tie, okay? Somebody that you will definitely need to interact with in this lifetime. You need to go through all that steps and learn your lessons and interact and learn your karma and close it out, okay? So some of you might be running away. You don't want to deal with it, but you will, you will deal with it one way or another. If you don't deal with it in this lifetime, you will deal with it in the next lifetime okay so guys like let, let's look at the number and synchronicity you have four for co-create and four talks about limitation 
you know, of course, we we take all this read is about you being limited. And you're not number four. It's also, a, you know, a, a, it, it can be a number of limitation. All right, like constraints. Like if you look at the four legs of a chair, anything outside of that four leg is nothing, right? There's constraint there, so everything has to work within that four legs of that chair. All right, so your number is a number of limitation. So there's, a, you know, obviously we're picking the energy of limitation here. All right, um, and then the next one is the number six, and six is a number of balance and responsibility okay being able to nurture someone or something and to care and love six is a number of love too okay so there's a love here that you know is from the past that you are not acknowledging in this lifetime okay so this is a number 18 the moon we got the moon twice right number 18 eight one plus eight is equal to nine so nine is a number of universal love compassion all right selflessness and then you have the Knight of Pentacles, you have the Fool, which is a zero, and um, zero can also have its own meaning in, in, in numerology. Zero talks about the void, infinite possibility, all right, Eter eternity, cycle, or cycle of life. You know, like zero. Once you come to zero, it's like, yeah, where re there's a reset. So there's been a reset from even previous life up until this life. There was a reset in your previous life. And I have no idea. Maybe you and this person have been at it multiple times, you know, past lives. Only God knows how many lifetimes you guys have tried to reignite whatever this passion is that you have to do in order to close out your cycle. If you don't, you all will be reincarnating and coming back and doing it over and over again. All right. Um, so this circle, you know, circle has to close out this is in one lifetime. And I'm hoping you will try your best to close it out in this lifetime. All right. So this is the Knight of Wands. This is the a, um, Seven of Wands. And what Seven talks about, it talks about it's a, a, um, spirituality, intellect, personal growth, solitude. And it's a number for us, you know, um, highly spiritual number. It's a number for metaphysics. Um, seven is a number of, you know, occultism or paranormal or spirituality, like I said, you know, and that's it. And then you have an ace and, you know, ace talks about is a one. One is a number of attainment. So you obviously are beginnings or you haven't been able to start anything or begin anything with this person. All right. Life path number uh, four. Let's do your Archangel Michael prayer card for the month, right? For this reading. Archangel Michael. We need a prayer for life path number four. Something that they need to affirm or focus on or put in perspective or be a, like a prayer point for them this month. Thank you. One more shuffle and I will be picking a card from the bottom. Okay, thank you. So it says focus upon divine and perfect health. There's something here nudging you focus on your divine and perfect health. And if you want to say the prayer it was with me, it says, God and Archangel Michael, thank you for continuously reminding me to focus upon perfect health and for getting my actions and for guiding my actions so that they support my well-being. Okay. This must have been very exhausting for you. But whatever it is, um, I think knowledge is power when you know. You can start to change situations in your life for better and better align yourself. All right, life path number four. Thank you guys so much. Um, I'll see you all again next month. If you want a reading, please, my email address is in the description box below. In case you're struggling with anything in your life, I can help provide you with the guidance that you need. All right, thank you very much. This is Healing Hands. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.